up, Extreme Kids? We are so excited that you're tuning in with us, and we are even more ecstatic to be worshiping with you today. So no matter where you're at, whether you're, you're in your living room, in your room, or even in your kitchen, stand up to your feet, and let's worship together in the name of Jesus. Tu nombre es Nombre sin igual Tu nombre es Luz en tinieblas Tu nombre es Es Jesucristo, no, no hay otro nombre que milagros pueda hacer, el más grande de todos. Oh Jesús, oh Jesús, tu nombre es poder, tu nombre es poder. Oh Jesús, oh Jesús, tu nombre es poder, tu nombre es la Our Bible story today is about a man named Saul. Saul was really mean to people like you and me who believe in Jesus. This man was so mean. He went out chasing them to put them in prison or killing them. This made God very sad. So God decided that Saul needed to know more about Jesus. Let's see what happened. Enjoy it. This is Saul. 
Saul was a Pharisee who hated the followers of Jesus so much that he would hunt them down to be brought to trial in Jerusalem. And he would even seek to murder them. Saul was uttering threats with every breath, and he was eager to kill the Lord's followers. So he went to the high priest. He asked him to write a letter to the Jews in Damascus that would allow him to arrest any Christians he found there. He wanted to bring them, both men and women, back to Jerusalem in chains. Now Saul went on his way. And as he came near Damascus, a light from heaven flashed around him, and he heard a voice that said, Saul, Saul, why are you persecuting me? Saul cried out, Who are you, Lord? And the voice said, I am Jesus. Rise and go into the city, and you will be told what to do. So Saul got up, and he opened his eyes, but he couldn't see anything. So the men who were with Saul led him into the city. After three days, a man named Ananias came to Saul. He put his hands on Saul and immediately Saul could see again. And with that, Saul became a follower of Jesus. He became the very thing he had tried to hunt and he immediately began telling people that Jesus is the Son of God, and he taught them about the mercy of God that he had received. And all who heard him were amazed. He then went by a new name, Paul, as he began preaching not just to the Jewish people, but to everyone. Despite many difficulties like being imprisoned, shipwrecked, and narrowly escaping death multiple times, Paul continued to preach about Jesus. Paul said that he would do everything he could to save people and help them know God. And that's just what he did in order to reach people who would otherwise be unreached. And many came to know Jesus because of what Paul said. Paul taught many in his day through his letters but even more have come to learn more about Jesus through the letters of Paul that can be read even to this day. Because of his encounter with Jesus, Saul believed in Jesus, learned about Jesus with the help of Ananias, and began to preach and teach the truth about Jesus. Some people didn't believe him at first, but that didn't stop him. Saul was different now. He got the help of the Holy Spirit, and even his name was changed to Paul. The Holy Spirit lives in us. The Holy Spirit will help and bring us together so that we can do great things for God, like Paul did. Pray with me. Dear Father, thank you for the Holy Spirit. Let your Holy Spirit to make us one as a church. In Jesus' name, amen. Wow! Did you see what came out of Paul's eyes? They look like scales. Fish scales? Mmm. That's amazing! I guess even Paul was under construction. Jesus even changed his name from Saul to Paul. I hope I'm under construction too, because sometimes I don't make the best choices. I am pretty sure we all are. We just must put God in everything we do. Right, boys and girls? What was the Bible verse that Nanny told your sister Melissa the other day? Oh, 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 I remember. Say it with me, kids. <clears throat> if the Lord doesn't build the house, the work of the builders is useless. Psalm 127, 1. Now I get it. Hey, did you see that new kid that just moved in? His name is Nick. We should go and play with him. 
Maybe he does not know the story of Paul. We should tell him. What do you think? Yes, let us do it. JJ Power. Well, that fish actually tastes yummy. I wish I had tried it too, but I'll get one tomorrow. Well, make sure you remind yourself. All right. Remember, stop, listen, follow, and obey. The Holy Spirit can help you with that. See you. Have a blessed week.